Introduction Mom, what are you doing? Ranjana, I am planning the snacks for your birthday party on Sunday. Can you help me decide the menu for the special day? Definitely, Mom. Most of my friends like chow mein, pao bhaji and chole bhature. Please do include these items in the menu. Thanks, Ranjana. But this information is not enough. What other information do you need, Mom? Ranjana, I need to know the exact numbers of children who like chow mein, pao bhaji and chole bhature. Only then I can decide the quantity of these items. I see. Mom, I will give you a detailed list of my friends attending the birthday party and their food preferences in another half an hour. That will be great, Ranjana. As promised, Ranjana provided the required data to her mother. In this lesson, you will learn about data handling. Data The Residents Welfare Association or RWA of a certain locality has decided to charge the residents for parking more vehicle than one inside the residential complex. For this purpose, it has asked the residents to provide details of their vehicles to the security guard at the entrance gate. A week later, the president looks at the register. Let us see the details provided by the residents of the locality. Such unarranged raw collection of facts and figures is known as data. Recording of data Mrs. Sandeep is the academic in charge. She has assigned Sheetal the task of writing the stream preference of all class 10 students. Sheetal collects all requisite details, summarizes them in a single sheet, places it in a file and hands the file over to the academic in charge. The process of listing information collected from different sources is called recording of data. Organization of data The data collected by the RWA of the residents and the data provided by Sheetal to the academic in charge are unorganized. Why? The former does not tell the RWA at one glance the number of residents who own more than one vehicle. Similarly, the latter does not tell the academic in charge at one glance the number of students who have opted for science. Organization of data refers to a meaningful arrangement of data that provides the desired information at a glance. Let us now learn to organize data. We use tally marks to organize data. Let us learn how. Consider the data collected by Sheetal on the stream preferences of class 10 students. Make three columns, streams, tally marks and number of students. Specify all available streams under streams one by one. Under tally marks, denote a student with a preference for a particular stream by a tally mark against that stream. Indicate every fifth student preferring a particular stream by a slanting line crossing the previous four tally marks. Now count the tally marks against every stream and record it under number of students. Let us now organize the RWA data that we had discussed in the beginning. Make three columns, vehicles, tally marks and number of families. Specify one, two and three under vehicles one by one. Under tally marks, Denote families with specific number of vehicles by tally marks against appropriate options of vehicles. Now count the tally marks against every option of vehicles and record it under number of families. Graphical representation of data A picture is worth a thousand words. Data expressed in the form of pictures are understood faster and remain in memory longer. Let us look at two simple graphical representations of data, pictographs and bar graphs. Interpretation of pictographs A pictograph is representation of data graphically with the help of pictures. These pictures can range from fruits and vegetables to vehicles and furniture and sometimes even human beings. 
Let us understand pictographs by interpreting the data they represent. Look at this pictograph. It shows details of horses in five different stables in a village. Each picture of a horse represents one horse. It is clear from the pictograph that there are four horses each in stable 1 and stable 3. Stable 4 has the largest number of horses. Stable 2 has the least number of horses. Let us interpret one more pictograph. This pictograph shows details of all rounders in five cricket teams of the world. Each picture represents one all rounder. It is clear from the pictograph that Australia has the largest number of all rounders. West Indies has more all rounders than Pakistan. Pakistan has the smallest number of all rounders. India has the second largest number of all rounders. Drawing of pictographs. Let us now draw a pictograph with the help of the given data. Let us use the picture of a travelling man to represent the bus passengers. As the numbers are large, we use one picture to represent 20 passengers. The red bus carried 100 passengers. If one picture represents 20 passengers, then five pictures will represent 100 passengers. The green bus carried 50 passengers, represent 40 passengers with two pictures. Represent the remaining 10 passengers with half a picture. The orange bus carried 70 passengers. Represent 60 passengers with 3 pictures. Represent the remaining 10 passengers with half a picture. Interpretation of bar graphs A bar graph is representation of data graphically with the help of horizontal or vertical bars. Bar graphs are easier to draw than pictographs. Let us understand bar graphs by interpreting them first. Look at this bar graph. It is a horizontal bar graph. The thickness of the bars and the gap between the bars are identical. It shows details of clothes purchased by the members of the Khanna family during the year. One unit of length represents 10 clothes purchased. It is clear from the bar graph that Miss Khanna purchased the maximum number of clothes during the year. Master Khanna purchased the minimum number of clothes during the year. Mrs. Khanna's purchases exceeded Mr. Khanna's purchases by five clothes. Let us interpret one more bar graph. This is a vertical bar graph. It shows details of female workers in a factory. It is clear from the bar graph that the scale used is one unit of length is equal to 50 female workers. GH factory employs the maximum number of workers. The difference between the maximum and minimum number of female workers is 250. If CD factory employs 50 more female workers, it will be at par with GH factory. Drawing of bar graphs let us now draw a bar graph with the help of the given data. As the heights are concentrated near 60, let us measure 10 inches per unit of length. Now let us draw vertical bars. The height of the bars is decided by the heights of the boys in inches. The taller the boys, the taller the bars. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. Unarranged raw collection of facts and figure is known as data. Organization of data refers to a meaningful arrangement of data that provides the desired information at a glance. A pictograph is representation of data graphically with the help of pictures. A bar graph is representation of data graphically with the help of horizontal or vertical bars.